subscribe to seeing people running around with absolutely gigantic bodies. And that got me thinking, what is the absolute biggest player armor that you could make in Build-A-Bot? Because, you know, in the past, I have eaten, you know, red candies, you know, grown very big, at least what I thought to be very big, and, you know, made armor for this and thought that was absolutely huge. But guys, trust me, this is teeny, teeny, tiny. You can get so big, it's absolutely insane. All right, red candy, yeah, guys. Let's just say you can get quite large. I am almost as tall as the actual wall here on the side. Now, it doesn't actually look that insane uh, as you're looking at it like this because the camera actually scales for your size. But yeah, guys, that right there is the size of a block. Usually, that is the size of about half of a player. Yeah, it's it's pretty bonkers. <laughs> so yeah, just to show you how insanely big this really is, this right here is a regular sized player. <laughs> Hello, little man. Hello, little man. <laughs> Dude, this is ridiculous, man. He wants help going to the end. You know what? I'll just load in a big build and send him off. All right. Now, one thing you might actually be able to notice is that this right here, if you wanted to build an armor around it, it would absolutely have to be a huge armor set because otherwise, I mean, simply so many of these body parts would be sticking out. Like, look at these arms. They are freaking massive. So that got me thinking, maybe there's ways to actually get this big without showing your body. <laughs> And that is when I discovered this right here. Ah! Yeah, as you can see, uh, it's looking a little weird, but this right here is a gummy bear outfit that pretty much goes over whatever you're wearing at the time. But if you actually have it on and you get huge... Oh, wait, did I not... <gasps> wait, I forgot one of the pieces. Sorry. Yeah, you can't only just wear the gummy bear. You also want to wear the adorable pink princess gown. <laughs> now, I don't know if anyone else has ever discovered this. I randomly stumbled upon this myself. But yeah, as you can see, your whole body it honestly looks like a disaster. But then when you actually grow big, pretty much your entire body goes invisible. As you can see, I still have the huge wings and stuff, but look at how tiny I've become. Dude, everything that's like showing down there is all just fake. Like it's just completely glitched out. Oh, big man. Yes. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to disable all of the other stuff and also just make it as cheap as possible. Because yeah, guys, sadly doing this will actually cost Robux. There's simply no way to avoid getting these expensive packages without spending a little bit of Robux. But dude, building armor like this is pretty sick. So if you do buy this stuff, please use star code Jesse to actually buy it. Because yeah, I would really appreciate it. But dude, look, I'm the same size as him right now. But that right there is everything that's showing. So I'm going to disable the actual like accessories right now. And what we can do is build an armor set around our gargantuous body. But the moment we actually put on the other stuff, we will be completely invisible. All right, here we go. So we are currently absolutely ginormous. So let's start working on actually building building an armor set. So if you didn't know, there's like a couple cool glitches that you can actually do to help building armor. So when you sit down, when you actually pin yourself down and you can do this with a cake or literally, uh, what else could you do this with? Yeah, uh, one of these classic fireworks, which you can still get. So yeah, if I do this, as you can see, I lay down perfectly flat. So I'm actually not gonna be using the firework because you can accidentally click it and ruin everything. So instead I'm gonna be using the cake. Oh wait, does the cake not even work? Am I too big for the cake? Oh my God, I'm actually too big for the cake. I have to use the firework. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Firework down, okay. By the way, I'll link everything you need to do for this outfit down in the description. It, it's pretty simple. It just costs quite a bit of Robux. So what we're gonna be doing, typically what we would actually wanna do is like add a bunch of piston contraptions to actually make sure that when we place our glue blocks, they don't just, you know, stick everything together. But I'm pretty sure we're big enough that it actually doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we go. I think we could literally place a butter block there, place one there. It's kind of hard to see where your body actually is because of these like packages. So one, that's my head up there. Okay, those are my legs, shins, feet. Those are the hands. And I think those will do for shoulders. <laughs> Dude, this is so much easier than anything else I've ever done. I think with those at an angle, that will be perfect. I think that's that. Like, it's literally that easy. Okay, now we can still do the torso and stuff like that, but I just want to see if this actually works. Also, before I save, what I will do is I'll delete the ground right there and actually make sure that I place some blocks that I will not delete. So, uh, yeah, I want to make sure that I place these exactly right below all of the other blocks because every time you get on it, you're going to have to re place the butter blocks. About a boom. Paint them red to know not to leak. Okay, so we're gonna jump. Okay, we've jumped. Nothing happened because everything's anchored off. So an anchor. Look at that. Okay, wait. Okay, so we've kind of disconnected the torso. I think that might be because of the chair. Oh my god, yes, it was just the chair. Okay, now our head is doing something interesting, but make everything collision off. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I've sh okay, I've glued the actual shoulder to the head. That's what's messed up right there. But everything else literally worked perfectly, dude. That was so easy. Actually, the arms seem to be a little bit messed up. So a little. 
little bit glued together. I think I want to see if that fixes it. Okay, so the hands are fixed now. So yeah, it just wherever I glued down the wrists is, is a problem. The legs are perfect. Okay, this is amazing. Dude, usually this is so much harder. <laughs> All right, we're stuck down again. Boom. Okay, so the wrists are a problem. They've been glued together somewhere to something else. I think it's actually... Yeah, as you can see, there's a bigger chunk in there. It's getting connected to that. So we want to make sure that we don't do that. I'm going to move this just slightly. Move that one too. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the head actually just got stuck to... One shoulder is way higher than the other. So I think just placing it crooked will fix it, actually. All right, so let's try that again. All right, so I don't know why, but it seems like the hand is actually getting glued stuck to the wrist. So unless it's just all the same body parts. Okay, he's got the same arms on. Let me actually see how they work. I think I think that's a separate piece, but I don't know, but I, I just can't seem to like get to it. Oh, wait, no, it's all just one big piece for the arm. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes our lives way easier. So rather than this middle piece, we don't even need them. We can just, just leave it like that. Okay, so we need one in the chest. Now, the one thing I'm worried about is that our chest is actually super thin. I say that as I literally have so much space in here. Yeah, I, I think it'll fit just fine. Dude, we have so much space. Okay, so if I place that right there, that should be perfect. So, all right, there it is. So I think that right there should be all of the butter blocks we need to actually make this in entire armor set work. Okay, we're gonna save this. And in theory, can I sit down, place a firework, and glue everything together. It should be perfect. All right, here we go. Select all, an anchor to collision off. Okay. Oh my god, dude. It is literally perfect armor. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, if we wanted to, all we have to do now to build armor is actually continue working on the body parts. But I want to see if I make my body invisible, is this still gonna work? Like, are all the individual body pieces in the same spot? So we're gonna put on our very cursed little outfit with a giant gummy bear and a pink adorable dress. Okay, let's test. Dude, if this works, it's gonna be insane. I right, red candy. Body goes invisible. Perfect. So we have all the spots marked where we actually need to be, you know, placing things. Oh, okay. That did the thing. The thing that it did before. Okay, we're just gonna place a block everywhere where we can have one. Add there. Okay. Select all. Unanchored. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my god! We have blocks that are perfectly moving along with our body. But dude, look at how small our body actually is. Now there's the weird leg thing where it like kind of glitches out and like pushes, you know, outside of where legs should probably go. <laughs> But dude, this is ridiculously insane. Like, what? I wonder what happens if I eat a small candy. Small candy! Okay, the blocks will just go. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, wait, that's actually not that glitched and crazy and weird. Okay, red candy it is though, dude. We can actually create giant armor sets without needing like stuff like headless or anything like that. Dude, this is insane. Well, I think there's only one thing to do, and that is to build an actual armor set of some kind. <laughs> also, I'm gonna quickly take off the uh, invisible stuff. It's really hard to work with it because you literally can't see anything. Okay. Okay, time to figure out this body situation. <laughs> All right, now you want to just make sure that none of the actual like glue blocks are touching or like the blocks that you're building with. So I think that's good. All right, that's uh, body parts. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out what is what am I uh, is a body part. All right, I think I have an entire body pretty much right here. Now, of course, right now it's a very blocky and kind of ugly body, but I will actually put on the colors of a noob, which tends to just make everything look a lot better. Actually, I don't remember what a noob, noob looks like. One sec. Okay, little blue lab, ba -da -ba, ba -da boom, yellow arms. All right, there it is. That's a noob right there. All right, let's put this thing together. So I'm going to save this just to be safe. All right. So the way we can actually do this is I made sure that there's a little bit of the red still like exposed on every single one of these. So when I set my move tool to two and match rotation to on, I can just quickly boop, boop. Oh, oops. I got to make sure. That, yeah, there you go. There you go. I got to just make sure to place it on the top side of every one of those blocks. All right. Make all of the butter blocks invisible. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to change my body parts. Ah! All right, here we go. Time to do it again. Just <laughs> properly this time. I delete all the red. And there it is, dude. Now, of course, this is not flawless armor right here, but uh, I think it's safe to say that with a little bit of extra effort... Oh, I just completely messed that up. I think it's safe to say that it's very easy to tell. You can make some absolutely insane body sets with it, dude. I am shocked with how well this actually worked. Like, all of my animations work. I can I can dance with this entire armor on. I mean, look at this. Okay, uh, who's ready for a backflip? Wappa! <laughs> Dude, that is crazy, man. I am shocked with how well this went. This right here, I think people will actually really want to do this. So yeah, if you are going to buy these body parts and do this yourself, uh, make sure you use Starco's Jesse. When you're buying your Robux to actually buy the different armor set parts, uh, some of them can get pretty expensive. The legs that I used are like 700 Robux, but you can also use legs that are just not quite as tall that, uh, yeah, that are just part of the rest of the body set. So yeah, as you can see, I'm not nearly quite as tall as I was earlier, but this totally works as well with the actual glitches. So yeah, that right there is how you can become or build a giant armor set that is absolutely insane. <laughs>